Tyler is in Denver. Hi, Tyler. How are you? Hey, can you hear me okay? Absolutely. What's up? Great. Um, hi, I'm a huge fan of your show. I've watched almost all your clips on YouTube. Uh, so I'm really excited to talk to you right now. Um, got a bit of a career question for you. Um, my name uh, my name's Tyler. I uh, graduated from college in 2019 in engineering school. Um, I'm 24. I, uh, I work for an engineering company, make about a little under 90 a year. And um, wow, a lot good of times for you. I hear you, you say this. Oh, thank you. A lot of times I hear you say this quote on the, on, uh, on YouTube, um, you know, it's bad to have a mentality of, oh, oh God, it's Monday, thank God it's Friday kind of thing. Um, and I just kind of wanted you to elaborate on that a little bit. Um, I would say I'm kind of in that boat. Um, I really enjoy where I work. You know, I work with good people. I, I think the stuff I do is, is technical and interesting. But, you know, obviously if I had the choice, I, I obviously wouldn't work a nine to five at a desk all day. Um, so I'm just wondering, you know, is that a bad mentality to have? How can I get out of that? Or, or, or what can I do about these feelings? Well, let's just play this out. You're 24. You got an engineering degree. The work interests you, but you gave us a big clue. I don't want to sit at a desk all day. And that's not wrong to feel that way. But let's look at what the future, what what you want the future to be. So let's fast forward. 34, 44. What kind of work would you want to be doing at this very moment? What would you say? Yeah, I mean, I, I love what I do. Um, you know, and I love I love tech, and I love engineering and I'm a, I'm a computer programmer uh, essentially but um you know so i move up in those ranks you know uh, start taking on project leads and, and and stuff similar to that but um but like i said you know it's still a nine to five thing um i, I think i'm conflicted more you know the idea of like well i'd rather be doing this or that you know i'd rather be outside i'd rather be you know with friends and stuff like that and i'm not saying obviously i don't like my job because i do i i, I, do well, hold on a second. I do. so you're all over the place so i want you to say it just Sounds as, like you just don't want to go to work yeah because outside and be with outside <laughs> with my friends that's great but that's not work uh, what do you want to do? I mean, you started to give us a clue there. You're up the ladder. You're 24, first of all, so you need to relax. You're in that entry position, uh, and you're making almost $90,000 a year. So you're in. You're on the ladder. So what does the ladder look like? What do you want to be doing at 34, 44? Do you want to work for yourself, have your own tech company? What is it? I know you've allowed yourself to think about it. Say it. What is it? Sure. Um I mean, I've never even really considered the possibility of, of starting something where I work for myself. Um, I just kind of am under this assumption that, that I'll be in, in some some corporate structure. Okay, forget assumption. Uh, for my entire career. What are you? What do you wonder about when it's just you? What is the forty-five-year-old you doing professionally? What have you allowed yourself to imagine? Say it. Now, let's assuming you're working at something. Yeah, and not, not playing with not friends not at the park. Playing badminton in the backyard. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I obviously, I, I enjoy having a stable and steady income. Um, so that I don't want to change, obviously. Tyler, um, you know, what is the dream? For what I want to do it. Say it. Say it. I know you've thought it. I've done this enough. Tell me what you dream about. What I dream about. Work. I mean, I dream about. I, I'm, I thought I'd be panicking here. Um, no, no. Okay, so here's the deal. Just moving up in that. Moving up. Okay, All right, so ahead. moving up. Tell me what moving up looks like. What are you? Forget about job title. Forget about how much money you're making. Forget about how you get there. You're letting your brain run. I want your heart to answer this question. You love the work of engineering. You love that creative, technical aspect of what you do. Is that true or false? True. Okay, then. So if you want to keep doing that kind of work and moving up the ladder, you need to begin at 24 to go, what does that ladder look like way up top? Start looking at that. Stop focusing on, well, I'm out of desk eight hours a day. Well, you're 24, man, and paying dues for you is really good right now. I mean, you're making almost $90,000 a year. You're overthinking this. Start to talk to engineers who have been at this for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. What's the kind of work you would love to do? And if you want to retire at 40, Great. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, are you supervising engineer products in the field? Yeah. In the field, which gets you out of the office in the future? Uh, no, I, I work for a website company, so I'll be indoors most of the time. No, I'm saying you might not be working for the oh, same oh, company, dude. Yeah. Yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> if you're doing engineer, okay. what kind of engineer are you? I'm a computer engineer. A computer Coder. engineer. Okay. All right. I had I had you engineering buildings for a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so, you know, you've just got to decide. I don't know of a situation. I can't think of a situation, but I, I, I'm not an expert on your field. Uh, I've got about 300 of you working here, but none of them work outside. 
Mm -hmm. They all work in the building. Um, And so we don't have any computers out in the amphitheater or the park next door or around the fire pit or the various places. I mean, I actually you have Wi-Fi out there. You can go out there and sit. But um yeah. But um <laughs> a nice day. But the vast majority of them work inside the building. So, um I, yeah, I think probably what I would leave you with is this. Um A there's nothing wrong with paying your dues for a few years and sitting there. And while you're making 90 grand paying your dues to Ken's point is not bad. Uh B and and so just plan on that. B it does not just because you do that for two the next two years does not mean you have to be doing that for two decades. Mm-hmm. You get to choose. I'll tell you one thing that I know one thousand percent chance over the scope of my career. I'm one thousand percent chance your world is going to change. Computers are going to change. I mean, when I when I was your agent starting, there weren't computers. The personal computer was not very personal. <laughs> And so, I mean, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, it's hard to imagine that, but it uh, feels like 20 minutes ago. And then I've watched the computer evolve into these tiny little things in our hands, which will do more than a whole building full of them would do just a few decades ago. So fast forward your thing a few decades, uh, you may be doing stuff from sitting outside working on holograms. I don't know. You may. But something's going to be different. Yeah, and so, and, and we're not picking on Tyler. A lot of people get in this situation, Dave. This is what we do every day on the Ken Coleman Show. People get a little bit locked up. And so what we're pressing for is this. Allow yourself to look out and say, what's the kind of work that I think would fire my soul up? And at 24, you might not know. That's the reality. Well, He's here's really young. Today, you might. My point is with technology curve. Today, you might not see how you're, quote, working outside, unquote, uh, doing your job. But two years from now, it might be going, everybody's doing that, and here's what they're doing. That's exactly right. I I don't have any idea what's going to happen. But the point is, you are not locked into this for 40 years. There's no chance. You can't do what you're doing for 40 years. It won't exist. Right. It won't even exist five years from now. That's right. So start problem solving in your head as an engineer as a computer technology he really enjoys the work there are clues there so if you want to work outside allow your mind to wander a little bit and then go do some research here's what i mean what are some problems you want to solve that are more outdoor in nature maybe one day you've got your own company uh that is where you're in the truck and you're moving around and you're going from site to site who knows but you've got to start to look into that and you don't overthink the fact that well i'm in this indoor job right now and i get it he's young but you've got to allow your to explore some things and listen to those clues. If you like being outdoors a lot, all right then. Well then, how are you solving the type of problems you like to solve? And how do you take that well, creative solving and that technical solving ability and go, okay, how could I do it out here in and, this and, world? And again, not to pick on him, but it is a normal thing in today's world to go from high school to college and your first job is you go to work every day and you work all day. Yeah. And that's a new it's emotional a new experience. Concept. That's exactly right. Uh, because you've not done that. You know, you and so literally what is occurring is you're developing a work ethic that you've not had to have previously. It doesn't mean you were lazy before, but you're experiencing the emotional bending of I've got to have the discipline to go to work and work while I'm at work. From nine to five, and deliver results so I can keep on working. Amen. I mean, there, there's that's that's grown up land right there. <laughs>